Oh, hi, everybody. This is Dear Mama Silent. We're live on a Friday evening, which means it's time for us to talk about coping with life. And today, <laughs> something that I'm pretty sure you will all uh, relate to, I'm going to dump, deep dive my um, kitchen deep freeze, and that's over there. Now, this is going to be a series of different things because I still have my big deep freeze uh, that I'm going to also do the same to. But I thought what I'd show you is how I plan to do it. So before we start, this is what I've got ready. I've got some plastic bags um, ready to try and contain groups of things. I have got big plastic bags uh, into which we will be putting categories of things. I've got let me see what I've got here. I've got fruit, meals, pre-prepared meals, dairy, sorry, meat, what was the first one? Fruit, yes, fruit, meals, dairy, meat, vegetables, and that well-known category, other. I'm very interested to see <laughs> how many things we find that are other. Of course, my job will be to systematically take those out and find out what they are, or ditch them. Now the other thing that I've done is I have got a calendar like this and this is the September calendar and I managed to find one that had got these little squares on it and so we're going to actually record what we find. So this is the meat column, no sorry that's the meals column, the meat column, the dairy, the vegetable, the fruit and the other. My request of you is if I forget to record it, could you, those of you who are watching on the live, please could you remind me so that I, um, you know, keep everything on track. So the idea is I'm going to get it out of the freezer in smaller batches and then close the freezer up again. I'm trying to minimize the amount of time that the freezer is open for. And to do that, I have got myself this bag and I'm going to sort of fill up a bag, and then come and sort it with you. Does that make sense? Please remind me to document what I sort. And the first thing I'm going to do is the top layer. And as far as I know, most of the top layer are things like vegetables and, and dairy and stuff like that. But really, let's find out. So forgive me for a second. You might see my, my end, but I'm going to just get us some of those things out of the freezer. Now, this is truly scary. <laughs> um, the reason it's scary is this is only half of the top shelf. I would have thought this would be the whole of the top shelf, but it isn't. It is half. But I did find one useful container uh, in there, and it appears to have... I think it has little package of vegetables, which is clever. No, that looks like... Mm. I wonder what that is. 
what that is that's bamboo shoots no <laughs> I, I no that's bamboo shoots okay now what I've also got is some paper here because things like that um we're gonna put little bits of paper in so I don't have that problem again so that's another I think we're gonna have quite a few of those ah rats that's not how you spend bamboo So, I've got a feeling we're going to find a few of those. Now, did you know that bits of paper like this, uh, in your frozen food, they, for some reason, as long as it doesn't thaw, which we're not going to give it time to, I hope, um, they will stay frozen. I mean, you know, they won't uh, bleed. If I can get it sealed again. Yeah, I did. All right, so that's the first one, bamboo. And I'm going to leave it in here. This one is tomato. I can see that. So, that's good. so this is actually going to be other. This is some meat. All right, the, both these, I know what they are. They're spam. Gosh, this is going to be quite an education, so... So, this is actually way more scary than I thought it was going to be, but that's a good thing. All right, so that's spam. This is tomato, and so is that one I had to begin with. Yep. I think this is also tomatoes, so they're going to go... Remember, what we're going to try and do is to keep them in categories. And tomato goes under fruit. No, it doesn't. It is a fruit, but it goes under vegetable, right? But I'm going to keep them right here because this is what I call sauce making stuff. But now we've got it properly marked. Let me make sure it's properly marked. So I don't have to question it again. Okay. So there we go. Tomato paste. Obviously, uh, one of, at the end of the week when I had extra tomatoes left over, I pulverized them. All right. So that's good. Right. This is definitely vegetable. Let me see how much I've got up already. <clears throat> I put that straight into my fridge so that it can defrost ready for this week. This is herbs. You can see that's parsley. This is fruit. Did we have fruit here? Okay, so this is uh, Crisco ready for making pastry. I'm going to put that under dairy. Oh, that's good. <laughs> well, I'm glad you guys are laughing because if I need to do it, you probably need to do the same thing. Right, so this I'm going to put under dairy because I think that's where I would look for it. So it's my dairy one. This is definitely cheese. Okay. Spaghetti sauce. Hmm. 
I think I'm going to put that into this lot. More of it. Uh, this is green onion vegetable. But that's a small one, so I'm going to put it with the small packets here. This is probably how I got it done. This is curry. Yeah. Dairy. Dairy. Definitely dairy. I've made butter. A mystery one. Ah, oh, more spam, people. What I do is when I open up a can of spam, I I will cut it into six, and I will freeze most of it so that I don't eat it all because it's high in sodium. But obviously, what I've been doing it is tucking it into the freezer. Have you guys been telling me to record what I'm putting in there? No. Bad people. <laughs> so, now the question is, should I put the spam, now that i got this much, I think I'm going to put that underneath. Okay, so let's record. Meals, meat, spam. And... I definitely had some butter. I think that's banana. Yeah, please remember. So, fruit. Banana. I think I've got more banana, so I'm going to leave that there for now. Ah, look at that. This looks like sweet potato fries. What a good idea, sir. All right, so I'm going to need to write that twice because that's also going to go down under vegetable. But that's a nice, uh, nice meal. Dipped in mayonnaise. What else could you dip sweet potato fries in? Where did I put them, people? <laughs> there they are. See, I don't mind putting it back in if it's no longer a maybe. Okay. So now we've got that one. And the vegetables. Vegetables, people. Um, fruit. Vegetables. All right. Now that is watermelon, and I'm going to make a watermelon um, freezy. I could make that right now and have it while we talk, couldn't I? Yes. Yum. Now, I'm pretty sure that we're going to find pineapple to go with it in a second. So, that works. Ah, look at that. Some raspberries. Some cranberries. Now, the reason I'm not making new labels is because you can see by looking at it what it is. Ah, desserts. This is um, 
You, I know it's dessert because they're in those little logs that I freeze things in. So this is a chocolate pudding. We didn't have one for pudding. We can have one for dessert. And if I don't have many, I'll put them in with the fruit that will make one just in case I find more interesting things like that. Okay, and we're going to pour that chocolate logs. Good. I think this is beetroot. It's like a chover hunt, you're right. Okay, I'm pretty sure that that's beetroot. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in this little container because this is where I'm putting those small bags. Could be banana. <laughs> but who knows? No. Onion, red onion. Well, there you go. So we'll write on that bag. More herbs, ah, dairy. Bread. Actually, I'm going to keep that out. I have that with my soup. Cheese, dairy, lemon. Oh, another one, two lemons. I think it's pineapple. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's pineapple for sure. So, luckily, some of these you can smell what it is. I'm hoping I don't end up with a. <laughs> You know, something like a um, watermelon and uh, what would it be? Sweet potato smoothie. That's why I'm trying to make sure I know what is it is. Yes, pineapple. Good. Cheese. There. Now then, <laughs> yes, a watermelon red onion smoothie could be possible, yes. Now, this is pretty good. I'm happy that I did actually write something on here. This turns out to be cheese sauce. So when I want vegetables with a cheese sauce over them, I can just take out one of these. So that's an other. But let's put that. Now. I think I'm going to put that in the dairy thing because it starts with cheese, right? And I'm just using um, the old delivery notices for my gro groceries as the labels. I'm not you know, doing a brilliant job. I'm just ripping it and putting it like that. to me, 
this looks to me like logs of something that I didn't want to have too much of. So I got a feeling this could be like a slightly curry tomato sauce. Uh, I'm going to use these for soups. That, that would be under other. No, it's going to go there for now. I've got them. Homemade herb butter. And more watermelon. All right, people, where's the fruit? Other. Nice little watermelon, that's good. <gasps> Haven't been writing things down. So we, don't let me put the dairy away without writing everything down. Hang on a second, we've got fruit. More watermelon. It's a label here attached to it, it says sausages. I know this looks like cherries to me. What do you think? Frozen cherries. Yeah, that's what it is. Great for smoothies. Now remember, this is half. Half of my top shelf. That's the scary part to me. Okay, cherries goes into fruit. Yeah, onion. That would go under vegetables. Me... I think I have more onion somewhere than here. No, not yet, but I know there will be. All right, more dairy, more butter, and vegetables, but small ones. So for now, it's going in there. Wow. Now we know this can go back in. So I'm putting this back in again. This is all small things that you know either get added to food or um, you know, but they're in small packages, so I want to keep them together. more onion while I was at it, so that's, you know that's in this bag now. All right, I'm going to deep dive the Pastry. What did we say for pastry? Um, we're putting that in with dairy, I think, right? Now then, I'm going to have a lot of these, so I'm going to keep these uh, in a different bag. This is uh, cut up lemons and lemons and limes. I think I've got way too much, 
sauce. We know that goes in the small one. Let's start another small one. Sweet and sour sauce. I think that's going to go. Oh, I've got a um, I've got a folding bucket here. Things I'm going to put in the garbage. That looks way too contaminated to me. Bread, finger, been there too long for sure. I have no idea what that is. A lot of them, whatever it is. I still don't know what to do. Tastes like dates. Is that possible? Would I have frozen? Well, whatever it is, it's a fruit. Could be cherry. Might be black cherry. I think we're going to put that in there. I'm not quite sure about it. I, but it is fruit. That's ice. More cheese sauce. Smoothie stuff. Smoothie stuff goes on the fruit, right? All right, butter, dairy. Now, that looks to me like a meal. Okay, this is a pre-cooked um, meal or soup. Yeah, you know something... Um, I don't think what I had there was the stuffed anything, Jody. I like the idea that it could have been my stuffed dates, but I eat those, but they don't make it to the freezer. Okay, so here we're going to put this into the meal. That's the first meal we found, so that's a good start. I think I'm going to put the pre-done meals. Yeah, because they're going to probably be smaller. Blueberry. Mm. Ah, gravy. Small things. Okay, so this one, I'm just taking the label off the outside and putting it inside. But this is fried rice. Uh, I'm thinking in the meals, all right, because it's obviously already cooked. So there we have ready for meals. Each other. Wow, I didn't know that was in there. That's half the tenderloin. I should probably go in the big freezer, but we'll see how we do. Okay, that's dairy, dairy. No idea. Ah, ice packs. Other. Give me a 
egg fry. Ginger. Water chestnuts. Cilantro. Lemon. Obviously, there was a special on a special on lemons, so I bought four and I threw three of them in the freezer. I don't know. I've done pretty well. I thought I'd have more. I don't know. Okay, so that is um, green onion. That's pretty good, people. I'm pretty impressed with it. I think what I'm going to do is to put the butter. It's ready for Christmas now. And pastry in this one. Right, so now, as you can see, I'm trying to contain them a little bit like this. But this is, I can pretty well see what everything is here. So that's a good container. Oh, looks so good. All right, now then, let's think what we've got here. All right, what about we put the cheese in together? Cheese and cheese sauce, right? some reason oh oh yeah see it wasn't in the right bag was it this is um lemons and stuff all right i know we're going to find a lot more of those so that's butter and that's more of that That's all cheese, and this could be butters then. Mm. Okay. I'm, I'm between two places here because I'm trying to work out what I'm going to have more on. Yeah, you know something? That's butter that I um, bought for last year, I think. Okay, let me see if I can get at least one of these back in. I'm going to put the cheese one back in for now.
Mm. And I think I've got room for the butter there. Okay, so what I did is I put the box of cheese in and then behind it, there's solid packs of butter and um, pastry. Find more butter. All right, so let's do the next deep dive. Beef gravy. We know where that goes. All right, so now then, obviously at one time I did start to get this um, sorted out. Yes, Isabel's saying that butter is so expensive. I was right to hoard some. All right, so this is cooked pork and bacon. And that's exactly how it should be. So this is meats. Yeah, we've got what I'd say we've got pork and bacon. Cooked pork. And bacon. Didn't know I had bacon in that fridge. That's good to know. All right, are you ready for the next stuff? Now, I think this is going to get a little bit easier now because I can now start putting the big bags back if I can get any of them full. This is all cooked mince uh, hamburger. So that's under meat. Okay. Ah, but it's already cooked. So therefore, it's meals. Yes. Make sense? Because it's already cooked, it's already a meal. Okay, this is meatballs. But are they cooked? It doesn't say. Yep, they look cooked. So that goes under meals. All right, so what have I put in here? Cooked mints. And meatballs. Okay, it's good. Cooked sausage. That's a meal. Other. Soup. What did I say we were going to put soups under? Hmm. Meals. Okay. 
that soup in the meal. All right, so that's good. This is banana fruit, banana. Pineapple and beet. No, okay. So we've got that's also the same. So I'm putting the whole of this fruit there and beets. All right, so why have I got beets in with the fruit? Um, what I'm going to, the reason is because I put uh, beetroot in with my smoothies, but that's a whole bag of fruit. I'm going to put this into a different bag. All right, now then, people, what have I got here? Ooh. I think those are steaks. I didn't know I had steaks. Oh, put it on the list. But this is why I, I'm doing it the, this way, um, Isabel. So, and then I'm going to, in September, see how much of this I can eat. Ah. All right, now then, let me think. That's steaks. I need a thing. That's awesome. I didn't know I had steak in there. Roast beef, already cooked, therefore, meals. All right, I'm going to put this. Now, what I've discovered is when I put that first bag in, you couldn't read it easily. So I'm going to start putting... the names here on the handle so that I can read it easily. No, that's not what it is. Meal. Okay, so I'm putting it like this so that I can read this easily. Wow, don't know how I'm going to get this all back in. This is dessert. We know we had a bag for dessert. Yeah. That looks like ice cream. 
and then and then that's the work and then vegetables ice This is spiced apple. Now we're looking forward to having that um, spiced apple again in the fall. Because that was that spiced apple was so good in a casserole. So. It's really interesting, you know, when I wrote on the bag, it wears off, but when you put paper in, you can still read it. And I'm going to put that into that little container that we had on the top, because these are the all things I can add to um, when I'm making casseroles and stuff. What did I do with meals? Did I put it in already? Vegetables. Soup base. Going to keep that at the top because that means I can also use it for gravies and stuff like that. Turkey gravy. And this is cooked pork. No, meal. There's an other ice. 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 All right, so hopefully one last dive. I know. Cheese. 
feet. Cheese. Apparently I've got a lot of cheese to use up. <laughs> a very shriveled banana. Uh, these are pastry shells, so we put that with the butter and pastry. Wow, cheese we know. So the question is, how many of you can see this was way overdue? Um, and although it takes time, I can now see what I need to be cooking. Um, okay, how many of you already can see what I need to be cooking in September? And that would be... Um, a lot of smoothies and uh, yes you know Jody's saying it's worth the time investment quite honestly I've got enough food in here that I don't need to buy any meat at all in the whole of September do you all agree I've got more than enough uh, I've just found, by the way, some sockeye salmon. So I'm going to put that in with the meats. And that side's going there. All right, I've still got another bag full here, so just bear with me. What have I got in here? These are all... This is amazing. The little bits that I'm finding everywhere. Apparently, uh, apparently raspberries are a lot like socks. They they disappear and get lost in the scheme of things. Vegetables, vegetables, vegetables. These are all vegetables. Awesome. So it's going to be a good month for stews and smoothies. Okay, I want to open this up. It's driving me insane. Definitely bananas and raspberries. Smoothie stuff. So I'm thinking that maybe I should put that going in fruit. I put the fruit one in already. Vegetables, meats, desserts. Yeah, fruit one is already there. Wow, that's amazing, people. We're nearly there. You can tell I'm I'm tiring of it, right? All right, so what have we got here? These are all vegetables. I think. Vegetables. 
All right, I am not allowed to buy any more vegetables, people. Or meat this month. Bacon. Pre-cooked. Herbs. Vegetables. 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 Vegetable. Pastry. Pastry goes on top, right? With the dairy. Ginger. Ginger top. And the reason I'm saying that is because the herbs and things are what are, are additives. Bok choy is a vegetable. Red pepper. Where did I put the... Uh, this is all lemon and limes. I won't be buying lemon and limes. For the rest of the year. Look at this. You remember I said I cut off the ends of my oranges and lemons and things? I've got a whole look at this. Now, question. How about how about Spaghetti squash, vegetable, more ice, more vegetables. Oh my gosh, this is embarrassing. More ice. Lemon. Eggs. Eggs I'm going to put with the dairy. Right, pre cooked, uh, not pre cooked, but uh, frozen egg. Ice. Beef gravy goes on top. Now the question is, can I get all this back in? The most important one would be the meat. Got to write on it. Oh. Um, when we finish doing this, I'm going to show you how I started um, making things for Christmas. So just hold on there a second. Where's my pen? Vegetables, vegetables, ice, ice, ice. I knew I had that much ice. There's my pen. Oops. Nearly there.
Now, this is the interesting thing. <laughs> I have got way too many things of vegetables. So I've got to put those in a different way. But I don't want to lose them. And I don't think I have room in my other freezer. Let me have a quick look. Maybe, if I'm careful. What is more important, desserts or ice? Why don't we put desserts and ice in together? I'm so excited, people. Thank you so much for helping me. Done. Now, obviously, I've got a lot of clearing up to do after this. But the good news is that basically, I have cleaned up a lot of what's in this fridge. Now, the trick is, how many meals am I going to make out of it? I'm definitely going to have to work on having soup every day. All right. You like my flowers? Thanks, Is. They were part of my Christmas. <laughs> Christmas. Part of my birthday present. Um, now... I have to tell you, as much as I like the plastic bags just for, to contain things, they don't do well in the freezer. When I say they don't do well, they, they move around a lot and so forth. And so my goal is to get that stuff down enough that I can put them into shoe boxes, maybe, uh, you know, with rigid sides. So here we go. Uh, basically, what did I find? Salmon, right? We found salmon in there as well. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick this up on my fridge. And now one thing I know is that having soup, vegetable soup, is not only good for cleaning out the vegetables, but it's also good for, for in terms of my diet. So if I could have soup every other day as a meal, I would get rid of a lot of those vegetables. Probably got enough vegetables there to last me the end of the year. Will I still buy things like 
Red peppers and green peppers, yes. The stuff that I use every single week, I will continue to uh, buy. But the, what I call the other stuff that normally goes in with the casseroles, I'm not touching buying anything until I've used that lot up. Mm. A lot of cheese, right? So I'm going to be making vegetables and cheese sauce. That's a meal. I am so thankful. Okay, so now I've got a treat for you. If I can clear the space. Um, don't you think these are a beautiful color? I just love the color of these. Um, oh, that fell apart. It came with a, um, a purple at the bottom and I wanted red in my kitchen so I just wrapped red around it. Uh, yeah, it's very useful to have that. Okay, so here we go. Here's what I wanted to show you. Um, during the year, what I like to do is to collect boxes, you know, small boxes that are useful for presents. And then um, I wrap them in paper. Uh, so that I can tie a ribbon around them and give them to people. Now, this was a a box that, uh, I don't know, something electrical came in this box, but I've just wrapped it like that. And I've just got to put, these are the ends that will go on it, on here. Oop, and it got wet somehow. Must be wet down there. Oh, we'll let it dry. Anyway, but you get the idea. And the reason I'm suggesting this is that buying colored paper um, this time of the year is not a bad idea. And to me, presents always look nicer in a box. What do you think? So even if it's a little thing, I'll put it in a box and then... Uh, just put some ribbon around it. Now, I thought I'd show you with this. This is uh, a bird's English custard thing. And all I've done is cut some paper that I will now wrap around it. And then that will probably have uh, chocolates in it, homemade chocolate. What do you think? Good idea? Now, I could do it with green so the reds don't clash. Uh, but I just wanted to show you the idea. And, you know, you put a bow around that. It's, you know, it's already food safe because it's had food in it. Ah, I'm glad you like it, Is. Um, but also, remember, reuse, recycle. So what I did is I just got a pack of red paper, you know, at the stationery department, got a stack of red paper, and I will now be doing the boxes. So, for example, this is a box that I got something in. And just to show you, I will literally just put, you know, paper, stick paper over the top there. And once it's all properly stuck, I will cut it to fit. And then this one will go on this side. Like that. And when those two are properly stuck, then I will put the sides on it and just put little bits in, but nice and easy to do. And this one didn't go as well as I would have liked it to, but you know something, again, you know, if you've got it filled up with fun stuff and you just say, you know, a recycled box, everybody will appreciate that it's a recycled box. But you put a really nice ribbon around that, anybody be glad to get it. So, how about that? Pretty easy stuff, right? Well, I hope you enjoyed that. I definitely won't be doing my big freezer live. <laughs> I will be doing it the same way, but I'm not going to be doing it live because it takes too long. But the thing is, how would you 
how much of that do you do you agree that I really should take half those vegetables and just throw them away? The chances are I'm probably not going to use them. Or use them in, for example, with my bread, when I make dough, is to mush them down and use them in my dough for um, things like uh, my daily pita. You know, imagine if I had vegetable pitas, that the vegetables were in the pita bread itself. That's a good idea, so. So after the broadcast, I'm going to be making, yeah, I've already got my, my daily dough thing out here. I'm now going to mush up some vegetables and mix it in with this uh, and then cook them, cook my pitas with the vegetable in it. So what I'll do is I'll put it all back in the mixer uh, with a little bit of extra flour just to absorb the moisture. And um, that's what I'm going to be doing every day now. That's a really good use of those vegetables. And you will hardly notice it. And as I use my pitas, I normally stuff them with uh, lettuce and cheese and cucumber. Um, that's going to be fine if they're vegetable, you know, if they've got vegetables in with them. And what about if I make some of them into chips <clears throat> for dips, you know, chip and dip? What if I make vegetable dip? But definitely going to make vegetable cheese sauce, you know, to, to go vegetables in cheese sauce or vegetable cheese sauce to go over vegetables. All right. So I'm going to see how many different ways I can do that. I wanted to tell you that yesterday um, I cooked. I, I just was surprised to find another um, pork tenderloin because I didn't know it was there. But I cooked two in here. I cooked two pork tenderloins, and enough vegetables for a week. Um, and I literally put this lid on it. By the way, I love this glass lid. Uh, I, put the, uh, I put some red wine at the bottom. Okay. Put some red wine. And I had the, you know, I just browned them first and put them in here. And then on this side, I had onions, uh, carrots, peppers, celery, you name it, all piled up, all in one pan. And uh, after I seared the meat, it just stayed simmering for about an hour, and it was all cooked. So think about that. Low heat, very little use of electricity, and I turned it into a packed slow cooker. And you're probably wondering, how did it taste? Awesome. It really did taste wonderful. And the two turkey and uh, two tenderloins, I think, made about five meals for me. Maybe more. Anyway, but the thing I wanted to say is think about this. If you're trying to cut your um, electricity use down, think about using a skillet with a good lid on it, right? This is, I love this because it's got a rubber lid. It keeps the seal nicely. Um, and I literally can have things on simmer and, and cook beautifully. Now, once it's, once you've started the cooking process, once you've got the, the, the liquid in, into the right temperature, it, you just keep simmering it and it makes a really good meal. So I'm going to be doing a lot more of that. I think I'm going to be taking out my slow, my rice cooker and also um, think about, actually, you know, that cooks too quickly. No, I'm going to maybe make some soups in here, make some daily soups that way. Uh, smaller pot. <laughs> and that's it. So we're done. I've got enough food for the month. Do you all agree? And I know now what I'm going to eat. I'm going to have steak, not tonight. Uh, I'm going to have steak and a vegetable soup I've already got. Uh, the, I made the vegetable soup from the uh, leftovers of the... Um, 
pork that I made, all right, the juices. I used the juices and some of the vegetables. And now I've got a really nice vegetable soup. More tomatoes from my tomato plant and a little strawberry. Mm hmm. Mm. Oh well. So, mm. I want to tell you these tomatoes that I grew. They are so sweet. <laughs> And I still haven't finished the plan in there yet. I'm working on it. Just to let you know, on Sunday, I want to talk a little bit about my health update. I've had some uh, new, more news on my health. And so I wanted to make sure that I kept you all uh, up to date with what's going on and how I'm dealing with everything. So I hope you enjoyed that. And I will get back to you on Sunday at um, 3.30 Pacific time. And we'll do more. This is Dear Mama Sal saying thank you for being here and thank you so much for your patience while I did my deep freeze. Question, was there a better way to do it? When you were watching me do that, were you saying to yourself it would be easier if she did what? One thing I do know and I will be working on is solid containers like this, all right, are a lot better. So I'm going to be putting uh, I've got a couple of these, and of course, you know, every month I end up with another one, uh, and they are great for um, containing things. So I'm going to be putting these in this deep freeze as I get things down a bit. Uh, and what I'm going to say is I'm only allowed to have this much, yeah, this much vegetable, this much meat, this much pre-cooked stuff. Why? Because if I've got it down to that, we already know that's a whole month's worth of food. So that's my goal. And I will be doing this tonight and having it, having my soup and pita together. So I will dunk my pita into my soup and that will be my meal. Make sense? This is Dear Mama Sal saying thank you so much for being here and we'll see you on Sunday. Love you dearly. Go think about, uh, by the way, if you're watching it on the replay, leave me notes on how, that, how you put things in your freezer? How do you contain everything? I would say the amount of money that you saw me unpack and repack was scary. What do you think? And that's my small freezer. My big freezer is three times that, and it's full. I've probably got enough food for a year. Bye-bye for now. <laughs>